Now, Ethiopia's Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed has announced uh, what he says would be a final military operation against uh, a Tigray province after local leaders ignored his surrender ultimatum. Earlier, the federal government carried out what it called surgical airstrikes against Tigray's regional capital, Mekele. The government has so far resisted international pressure for mediation in the conflict, but fallout from two weeks of fighting has the potential to destabilise the entire region and has already started what the UN says is a full-scale humanitarian crisis. Well, Kenya Yadeta is Ethiopia's defence minister. He joins us from Addis Ababa. Well, welcome to DW. What does Abiy Ahmed mean by a final military operation? Well, thank you very much. Uh, the final uh, military operation refers to enforcing the rule of law in, uh, uh, across the nation, uh, particularly targeting on the uh, TPLF uh, UNTA group, uh, uh, who has been uh, uh, violating rights in Ethiopia uh, and highly corrupted uh, groups. Therefore, uh, the operation is going on and uh, is going to be completed probably within a week, seven days. I suppose what I'm really trying to get at is, uh, why will this uh, final military operation, what will be different about this final military operation than all the other military operations that preceded it? Uh, it means that uh, there is a very short period. It will be completed within a very short period of time uh, because uh, this uh, group, Junta group, is really uh, has massacred the civilians in Ethiopia, uh, gross violation of rights, and then uh, they instigated an ethnic uh, conflict in Ethiopia. Uh, therefore, uh, it is the operation is targeting these groups, and uh, uh, the final military operation means uh, it will be completed within a very short period of time. And by complete, do you, what, what do you mean? Do you mean you will have bombed them into surrender? Yeah, it means that uh, these groups are going to be made under control, and they face court of law. So it's, if this mastermind or this junta group uh, face justice or if they are made under control, the operation will end. And it is not a civil war, uh, but uh, some propagate that uh, the conflict going on in Ethiopia is a kind of civil war, but it's not uh, a civil war, but it's about ensuring rule of law, targeting right. very, very uh, few groups. Why is the Ethiopian government unwilling to accept external mediation? Well, this is an internal affair and it doesn't need uh, external uh, in institutions or nations to intervene in Ethiopian sovereignty because uh, it's, it's a matter of internal affair. Except it's not internal, is it? Because it's already affecting uh, Sudan as um, tens of thousands of refugees pour out of Ethiopia and it's affecting uh, Eritrea to the north uh, as rockets are launched uh, into that region. So this is no longer uh, 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 an internal matter for Ethiopia. We define the concept of internal affair that uh, the issue is not between independent nation. Tigra is not an independent nation. It is, a, it is a regional, one of the regional states in Ethiopia. Therefore, we cannot define it uh, uh, as, a, uh, as a conflict going on between uh, different independent countries. It is going on the internal uh, matter, and it's an internal issue in any way. OK, so Ethiopia will not accept external mediation and will also not allow aid agencies into the country or uh, journalists into the country. Same question, why? Well, uh, um, uh, just I've uh, told you that... Uh, this is an issue related to the sovereignty or internal affairs. So, and also it doesn't take uh, uh, many, many times. It is, it's really be going to be completed within a week. Therefore, we don't consider it, uh, it is a big deal. It's uh, something uh, internal matter. 
The, the United Nations uh, begs to differ with you. The United Nations thinks this is a big deal. The, the, the United Nations has described this as being on the verge of a humanitarian catastrophe. Uh, well, uh, practically, uh, this is not, this is untrue in Ethiopia. Uh, the uh, Ethiopian military force are professionals and they target on the, on the groups, the junta group, not the civilians who are uh, some other social infrastructures. The target, the focus is on the specific that, group. That, that may They're... be the theory. It may be that that is what you wish to happen, that these are focused uh, attacks. But the, the United Nations says um, this, this is on the verge of being a full-scale humanitarian crisis. Do you not recognise that the carnage that is going on on the ground? No, I don't think uh, really we are so much... Uh, we, we, we give a take care for uh, such issues and I don't feel that uh, that can happen. And because this very, in a very short time, we'll finish all the operation and uh, we are such, uh, we don't have such, such uh, uh, fear. So uh, how short is this time in which this operation will be completed? When do you expect this, uh, this final operation to start and to end? Maybe. Just it is going on now, and this uh, Junta group has been encircled in all directions, and uh, we, we have planned to complete it probably within less than 10 to 15 days. And what will victory uh, look like in this uh, conflict? It's not a matter of victory, but it's a matter of uh, ensuring rule of law and uh, bringing this uh, junta group to the court of law. It's not the kind of victory. It's about ensuring the rule of law. So, do, so, again, when will it finish then? Will it finish when you arrest people, when, when, when the, they surrender, when everyone is dead? When will it finish? They should surrender and they should uh, just give their hands to the army. So if they are willing to surrender, the operation will be uh, completed. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Kenya Yadeta, uh, Defence Minister of Ethiopia. Thank you very much.